Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called um, 2024-09-12 PB and Chip by Chip Sounder. This is a puzzle debut. Um, this is a 6x6 Sudoku, and it's the first puzzle created by Chip Sounder. Chip is a supporter of mine over on Bremster Games, my, um, my the YouTube channel where I often play um, video games of different types. Um, and uh, yeah, so... Um, Chip has gotten into playing around with puzzles. Um, this has been tested by one of my regular testers um, and said, yeah, give it a go. So I'm absolutely going to do that. Thank you, Chip, for all of your support over the last couple of years. So let's have a look at the puzzle. So haven't done a six by six in a while, so this is likely to be short, but um, at, at least I've told this could be a short puzzle, but um, I have no problem bringing you a short puzzle today because, of course, yesterday um, Quads on Parade was released, the puzzle pack of, I think it's 35 quadruples puzzles, some of which are quite tricky. So if you're looking for ways of spending time solving puzzles, because this is a short video, go check out the puzzle pack. There is a lot of puzzle content there. Of course, the videos of those will start coming out in I th just under a week. So um, yeah, hopefully uh, you're enjoying the pack. Let's have a look at 2024-09-12 PB and Chip by Chip Sounder. So we have normal oh, stand, uh, normal 6x6 six six Sudoku rules apply. So into each row, each column, and into each 2x3 region, we have to put the digits 1 through 6 without repeats. We have little killer clues. So the clues outside the grid with arrows, so these four clues, um, the di indicated diagonals will sum to the digit or the number given. So these three digits will sum to 14. These three digits will sum to 13. Um, so that's what we know. Sandwich clues. So what that's telling us is the zero and the seven clue are telling us that in this row and in this column, um, the digits between the one and the six in this row or row or column will sum to the indicated um, total. So in this row, there will be a total of digits summing to zero between the one and the six in that row. In this column, it will be a total digit summing to seven between the one and the six in that column. Um, and then we've got crop key pairs. Um, black dots separate digits in a one to two ratio. White dots separate consecutive digits. Not all possible dots are necessarily given. Um, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So the thing that's jumping out at me is probably this 10 clue because in a one to six, I believe it's limited because you can't use one nine because you don't have nine available. You can't use two eight. You can't use three seven. You can use four six. You can't use five five. So this must be four six, but you can't put six in the run middle of a run of consecutive digits because, uh, I would need to put a seven on one end and I can't do this. So this is the four, this is the six, and these must be the three and the five, and this must be the one and the two. So these are one, two, six, because one, two, six can't repeat here, and these are three, four, five. <clears throat> okay, now, that's telling me that. Now, what can go on a black dot? I can never put a five on a black dot in in a one to six. Is there any other digit? Yeah, I, oh. so I can use one, two, two, four, or three, six. So the only digit I can't put on a black dot is a five, but these sum to 13. If this was a one, these would have to be six, six, and I can't do it. So this is not a one, but I could do two, five, six, maybe, because that would sum to 13. So I think any other possibility here is okay. Now, is it this 14? How do I get to 14? So the maximum I could do here is 11 with 5 and 6. So the minimum this could be would be 3 because I need to do... So this is 3, 4, 5, or 6, but it can't be 5. So this is 3, 4, or 6. Maybe I'm looking at this the wrong way. But if this is three, this is six. If this is four, this has to be two because I can't take it to eight. And if this is six, this is three. So these are restricted. This this can't be two because then the... Oh, no, this could be five, six. This is interesting to me, maybe. This is where my math falls down, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 
one. If this is three, I've got a problem though. Because then these would have to sum to 10. And I can't do six, four. I can't do two, eight. I can't do three, seven. This can't be a three. If this is a four, these have to sum to nine, which I could do. If these are five, these would have to sum to eight, which I could do. If this is two, these have to sum to 11, which I can do. If this is a three, these have to sum to 10, which I can do. If this is a six, these have to sum to seven, which I can do. So is it this 14? Or am I looking here? A seven sandwich clue. How do I do seven? I can't use one six because one and six are both in the sandwich clue. So it's two, four. Sorry, it's two, five or three, four in this column. Because I can't use a seven on its own. So there are two digits between the one and the six. So if the I could put the one and the six here. But if I put the one and the six here, so if this was the one and the six, say these were the crusts, and let's use orange. If these were the crusts and this was, if this was one six, this would be two. So this would be three, four, and this would be five. And that seems to work. Okay. That. Or am I just being completely obtuse again? Fifteen. Thing is, I could put low digits in here, can't I? Fourteen is more restricted. Because the maximum, right, the maximum this can be is eleven. Right, so this, I've already looked at this. This is why this was three, four, five, or six, but it couldn't be five. For this to be 11, that's the 6 and that's the 5. Why am I so confused on this puzzle? I mean, I'm not great at Little Killer, which is part of my problem here. This was clear. If, if I, if I put one here, this becomes two, four or three, six. Otherwise this is one, two. I'm not seeing a problem here. Oh, this is a four because of the five looking down. Sudoku. So there's no four in either of those, and these have to sum to nine, and I can't do two, seven. This is six and three, which makes that six. That was so obvious. I, I had it right there. So this is a six, so these have to sum to eight. Well, I can't use one, seven. I could use two, six. I could use three, five in either, or no, it'd be three and five. I can't use 4-4, four, four, so they're the only possibilities. But what's this now? I'm not sure. Have I got that right? Yeah, these have to sum to 8. 6-2 or 3-5. I can't use 1-7. Is it this 15 now? Wow, I am a little lost, aren't I? So this is 1-2. There must be a 2 in here. Oh, there must be a two in here because this has to be one, two or two, four. It can't be three, six. So that's the only possibility. This is five. These sum to 11. This is the three. I'm just not using the clues correctly. So that is the 14 done. Okay. This can't be a one because there's zero between the one and the six. So these, which are one, two, six, this can't be the one. The one and the six have to be together in this row. There's no four in any of those. That's, there's no four here. Hang on, this isn't one, two, six. It's what, there's no six here. 
this is a one two and this is actually one two four wow i'm and there's no one here so six is right here and this is one two four but there's no two in it six is in one of those two three is up here but i'm not sure where six is in one of those two If this is a six, one would have to be there. Maybe. This 15, I think, is going to come into its own in a minute. Oh, four has to be in one of those two because of the one, two, four. That's the one. This is a two, four pair, and this is a one, five, making that the two and that the one. Of course, there's no one there. This is a two, four. This is one, two, six. This is all lining up. These are five, so these have to sum to 10. This one, of course, makes this the six by sandwich because there's zero between the sandwich, which means this is the six. This is not the six. I like this. It's just enough to keep you bouncing around. So these are two, four, and five, and must contain a five. Right. There's seven between the six. So the, this, the, um, and you can't do a seven in a single digit. So this is the one and the two. This can't be one, six. So it's two, five, or three, four. If it's two, five, I think that's okay. If it's three, four, it's in this order. But these have to sum to 10. So if this is 2, 5, this is 3, 4, and if this is 3, 4, this is 5, 2, <coughs> giving me a 2, 4 pair. So these are 1 and 3. Cool. I was told there was a bunch of redundant clues in this puzzle. It's possible I'm solving it the completely wrong way. Okay. These have to sum to 10, because I've got those which are 5. So yellow has to sum to 10. If this is 5, these would be 2, 3. If this is 5, 2, this would have to be 2, 3. I'm definitely missing something here, aren't I? Oh, the 2 and the 4, look up. Yeah, I'm Sudoku. Do Sudoku. Sudoku is important. So this is a 1 or a 3. So, if this is a one, these five, two, four, two, right. If this is a one, these would have to sum to nine. And this would have to be five, four, but the five here would make this two, and then this would have to be four. This can't be a one. This is a three. That's a bit weird, but true. One, three. There's no three here, so there's no four here. This is a two, five, making this the three, this the five. The two, five looks up, making that the four, that the two. So this has to be the five now to make the 15 work. This is the two, four, two. The five makes this one and five. The two makes this four and two. I possibly did this a really silly way. Um, it's possible that there were other ways of doing this, but I used every clue. And I thought that was really nice little six by six. So the, my tester turned around and said, oh, there are redundant clues that make this over simple. But I thought those clues all 
like fed onto each other really well. Um, the 10 clue feeding into this was really nice. The 13 clue, I missed some Sudoku for a bit, but the 13 clue fed into these really nicely. This resolved cleanly. You ended up getting the one, which gave you the six, um, the 14 clue, and then the 15 resolved nicely with some Sudoku in these columns. I thought that was great. That was a really nice little six by six. Thanks, Chip. Really, really cool. Um, and I don't think any of the clues there were overly redundant. I used all of them and enjoyed what I did with them. Would the puzzle possibly have been unique without them? Yeah, but I enjoyed what I did. So, great. As I said, if you're worried about a short video, go check out um, uh, Quads on Parade. Uh, Parade. Quads on Parade, Parade of the Quads. I can't remember what we called it. It's one of those two. Um, links below to the pack. Um, lots and lots and lots of really amazing puzzles. Possibly some of the best puzzles I've ever solved are in that pack. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.